All right, so that's how I didn't blame anyone. I didn't say he went drag racing because Ronald Reagan was president. <laughs> He went drag racing because that Reagan was so mean and so tough that he had no outlet for his energies. He had to go drag racing. All right, what do you define a conservative for me, Gerald? On WJR, what's your definition? Michael, conservatism is a process of objectively analyzing reality. You know, as a young uh, young man returning from a war in Vietnam and Korea in the year 1970s. I attended the University of Michigan. At that time, there were still some conservative professors there. All right. They told us that we always would, if we were going to be a conservative, you define it in three different steps. You say, is there a reason for change? Is there a plan? And is it the best plan? Donald Trump embodies that process of conservative. Oh, oh, so, Gerald, hold on. That's all I'm saying. So why are the cruise bots saying he's not conservative enough? I have no idea. They're t attempting to define him in either a social or political endeavor. Yeah, well, that's what I'm saying. They're saying he's a social liberal, therefore he's a bad man. Oh, <laughs> you just blow that off. I mean, you know, man, oh, man. I mean, I, I, yeah. yeah, well, so these are the same people who destroyed Romney and gave us Obama. Now they want to destroy Trump and give us Hillary. What, are they working for the Hillary Clinton campaign? You want me to go that far? I could say maybe they're really taking money from Hillary. I know it's not true, but I may as well say that, since they're accusing Trump of being a liberal. Oh, man. No, I'll tell you, the one of the strongest... Gerald, I know, I'm telling you right now, they're going to, if they undermine Trump, I, I'm looking at my Facebook page, you got all of these true believers saying he's not a conservative, not a conservative, not a conservative, we're not voting for him. So who are they going to vote for, Hillary Clinton? <laughs> Oh, gosh. No. Gerald, I'm sending you a copy of Government Zero. Back in a minute. Be here or be nowhere. It is clear that Hillary's falling, and we're going to be faced with an amazing election. It's going to be a landslide for Trump. Uh, whether or not the, uh, the, the others on the Republican uh, stage attack him from now till doomsday, he's going to win. It'll be a, a landslide like we have never seen in this country because America doesn't want a crackpot spritzer from New York City. A lifetime socialist, communist, whatever you want to call him, he says socialist is a new phrase for communist. This guy's been a communist all his life, not a socialist. And if it's 15% of the population that want communism, that's about the max. I can't wait for Trump to win. And then what are you going to say? You're not going to vote for him because he's a social liberal? What do you mean by social liberal? Tell me where he's a social liberal. Where is he a social liberal? And again, you're going to bring up abortion. You're going to say he's pro-choice. Uh, what else is he a social liberal on? Immigration, is he? He said he's going to build a wall with Mexico. You're saying he won't. How do you know he won't? At least he's saying he will. Which other candidate will do it? Tell me who will actually could get it done. Who do you think has the presence of mind? And the, I'm going to use the right word. People said alpha male. The, the mental power. The willpower. Willpower. Which of the candidates has the willpower to force Congress to do the right thing? Who has the best chance of imposing his will upon Congress? By shaking hands by staring people down, by telling them they've got to do it, by hardballing them. Who could do that better than Trump? I don't know who. See, he's got the perso personality for that. He's a big personality. He's a huge personality, and we need a huge personality. He reminds me a little bit of LBJ in that regard. No one's brought that up yet. They've compared him to, I would compare him to uh, Winston Churchill. People have compared him to Reagan. No one's ever said he's got, see, he's got the political capacity of LBJ, because of his big personality. No one said that yet. Okay, but it's something new. And when Trump wins, and it's Trump versus the commie from New York with the crumpled suit and the tuna fish stain on his, on his uh, lapel, never mind the spritzel the down the, the lapel, and it's 85-15, and America says no to communism, finally, and we slam the border shut, and we stop the flood of immigrants, particularly from the Middle East, and he starts the deportation process going. And not only is the military refunded, but the Border Patrol is given the power to stop the flood. 
The Border Patrol is given the power to stop the flood. The Border Patrol is given the funds to stop the flood. You wait and see what happens in this country. You wait and see if you'll have people chaining themselves to bridges. You'll have law and order in this country. It'll run all the way down to the local police. They will be proud to be police again. And the vermin who are attacking them will stop because they're going to jail. When Trump becomes president, the street vermin who are upsetting our social order, who are wrecking our everyday life by blocking bridges and tunnels and roads and highways in the name of this or that or this one cranky thing after another, all lies, nothing but lies, they will go to jail and they will stay in jail and they will, they will have the book thrown at them. That's what's going to happen, and America will be great again because of that, because we're going to have a strong leader who believes in America. Now, does he pass the litmus test on everything? No, nobody does. But we'll have America back again. That's my opinion. And I'm willing to take 60 to 80% of what I want as opposed to zero. Now, if you want to be a true believer and say, well, he doesn't meet the litmus test on not voting for him, that's your problem. Then you lose again like you did with Obama. That's exactly why Romney was destroyed. Because he wasn't pure enough. And I want to tell you again, this purist mentality is very much like communism. You may say, that's shocking. No, it comes right out of the communist playbook. You know the communists went around in Russia after they took power after the October Revolution of 1917, and you had the Bolsheviks, then the communists, they ran around the country, they threw people out of the party who were not pure enough. They were considered counter-revolutionaries. It happened under Mao Zedong. If you didn't follow Mao's insanity more pure enough, uh, purely enough, you were thrown out of the Communist Party in China and you were punished. Is that what you want in America from the so-called right wing? That's what you're getting. Join the Savage Nation. Call now. 855-400-SAVAGE. 855-400-7282. Savage. Chief who will let our warriors do their job and go kick ISIS ass. I don't know. Maybe that's what people want to hear. Maybe they want to hear a junior high school level cheerleader. Who knows what the average person wants? Who are the low information voters? Well, according to the man who defined the term, Mr. Popkin, in 1991, it's people who have low information who vote, and they usually split the ticket. And uh, the social political scientist Samuel Popkin t coined the, the term low information in 91 in his book, The Reasoning Voter. And it was normally applied by him because he was a liberal to conservatives. Then it was used by conservatives to apply to liberals. Well, how, where does that get us? If you're going to define every liberal as, um, as, as low information voter, where do you get with that? How do you, how do you win them over? Just to understand the danger they are in from their liberalism. Tell me how that helps you get them over to your side. Tell me how. How are you going to get someone who's defined as an Obama supporter who may not be stupid, but they're afraid of the religious right? They're afraid of people, people telling them how to live? They're afraid of people telling them their sexual orientation is wrong? How are you going to get them to understand that they can be your natural ally in defending America because they believe in secure borders, English as the official language, and the American culture as the norm. You have to explain to them that not all conservatives are zealots. And you have to explain to the zealots that it's better to get 65 to 75 percent of something than 100 percent of nothing, which is apparently something they haven't learned in Business 101. I remember when I was young and just entering the world of business and trying to do book deals, and I didn't get everything I wanted in my book contracts. I used to get very angry until a smart agent said to me, you want 100% of nothing? <laughs> you know, you wanted 100% 100, 100 of nothing, and how he said it to me? I, I, you know, it, it sometimes people, there are smart people out there who can teach you things. That goes along with the story of do you want to be right or do you want to be smart? you want to be right or you want to be smart? That lawyer, again, 40 years ago, I was infuriated by somebody who stole a book from me. A publisher took it, looked at it, and said, no, I'm sorry, we're not going to publish it. And then um, the next thing I knew it was published by someone else. They gave it to some one of their better, you know, more popular authors who stole the entire book from me. I wanted to sue the company. And the lawyer 
said to me, do you want to be right or do you want to be smart? I didn't want to hear him. He said, well, I'm, I'm trying to tell you something. You're not going to win because ideas are not copyrightable in America. I didn't know that either. Did you know that? Did you know the titles are not copyrightable? Ideas are not copyrightable. Anyone could rip them off. You didn't know that. So I learned something. He taught me that I have to know what I'm talking about before I act. Okay, 855-407-282. We're basically arguing over what is a conservative. There are so many other news items out there. But I'm only interested in this today. Because this is all it's about, what it's all about. All I did was say that Trump needed Palin like a hole in the head. And the world came crashing down. And uh, I was attacked viciously by the, the, the zealots. It's, I, know, I don't know how else to put it. The zealots who, who apparently want to... They define their, their zealousness by losing elections. They pride themselves on losing elections. That's what defines them as a conservative. In fact, the more elections they lose, the more conservative they feel. They like being the, the, the loser. All I said was Trump said, or Michael Savage said, Trump needed Palin like a hole in the head. That's what I actually said. I didn't attack Palin. And I'll say it over and over again. He is something new. She is something old. She's baggage from another time. Moreover, she lost an election. Why would you drag up someone who lost? And then people say, but many real conservatives don't endorse Donald Trump. All right, don't endorse him. But that doesn't mean you have to tear him down before he becomes president. Well, you want Hillary to be president? 855-407-282. What is conservatism? I'm asking you a good question. <clears throat> Well, I have so many great callers from around America. Again, we're being swamped by callers from the big stations in the East. New York values, apparently. Uh, <laughs> apparently, New York values include calling radio shows. <laughs> I guess New York values include conservatives who listen to Michael Savage on WABC and other, like WMAL, Monster Signals. WJR, I guess they have New York values, East Coast values, and they call conservative shows to join in the conversation. That's a New York value. Okay, Ari, in North Carolina on WAAV Radio. Ari, what's your point? Well, it, uh, Dr. Savage, I think the, you know, the ascent of Donald Trump, it seems like uh, on Tuesday, like a comedy of errors, but I think there is a hidden wisdom in that. Because he is shaking up the whole political spectrum and causing people to uh, to rethink where they stand politically. And it could be a eureka moment for the country in that people will be willing to look at him because he doesn't fit the paradigm. And, and That's what I'm saying. That's why I think it was a mistake to embrace Sarah Palin, because she clearly demarks something else other than Donald's message. Well, she'll bring she'll bring something into into into. All right, maybe maybe in the end at the end of the day she'll bring a certain quotient in that wouldn't have been there. I can't say. I, again, with the the, I suppose that they were thinking she'll bring in the so-called evangelical, which again is a defined a definition that has no meaning. It's a way of demeaning people to call them evangelicals, as we discussed yesterday. It's a it's a it's a way of diminishing them into some small minority of fanatic uh, you know Bible thumpers. That's not what evangelicals are. She gives them. Thank you for the call. Okay, let's run through all the callers right now. Internet Grant, thirty seconds or less. Define conservative. Michael Savage, conservatism to me is maintaining a national identity, and you see this happening in Germany where they're letting a flood of refugees in. Their culture polarized against the German culture. Their national identity is falling apart. And that's exactly what would happen to America if Bernie Sanders was elected president. So then my definition of borders, language, and culture, would would you approve of that? Oh, definitely. I think a national identity would would definitely encompass the culture of America, the culture of the... All right. Well, I've done it in, tr in, in, tr in many books. I'm setting you Government Zero, where I define it best. My last book did the best job of all of them. Stay on the line, you'll get government zero, which defines what a conservative believes. Better than anything I've ever written. Let's put it to you that way. Let's see what the next caller has to say on the Internet. WMAL, Bob, you have a statement to make. Please make it. Well, I, I think that uh, Trump is, is following your advice to the T by putting failing. 
on the ticket or bring